Hey guys, today I want to show you an SEO mistake that I've recently been noticing a lot across many different Shopify stores, especially those who are using the new Horizon Generation themes. But not only those, some are even using custom themes, uh, but I'm still noticing this mistake a lot. And to get right to it, the mistake is simply not having a H1 heading on their collection pages. Now the H1 heading is the most important text on a page and it lets Google know what that page is about. In HTML, you have your, your main heading on the page. On Shopify stores, for example, this would be the product title. So as we can see here, it's, it's a H1. Whereas regular text just throughout the store would be just a paragraph tag. As you can see, these are all just paragraphs and that's like your standard default text on a website. And your H2 would be various subheadings like you may also like. But yeah, what I've been noticing is that when you go on collection pages, you will notice that this is just a paragraph. It's styled to look as a H1. It's a large font size, it's bold, uh, but it's just a paragraph. And what that means is that Google isn't picking that up as the most important text or the, the title of this page, right? So the H1 is very important. It's especially important for collection pages because as a e-commerce store, collections are matching the keyword that people are searching for when they look for your products, right? So someone might be looking for three millimeter summer wetsuits. These collection titles, most often, that's what people are searching for. And you wanna match that search intent with your H1 heading tag, right? So that needs to be a H1. Likewise, this store, for example, co.com, Again, just a paragraph here, kitchen. And do they even have a H1? They don't have a H1 here. And I'll explain why this is happening on so many stores, but just let me show you one more example. This is an even, an even worse example actually, because the collection is hair and they've got you know home hair over here, but is that the H1? No, it doesn't look like the H1 and it's, it's not either. It's just a breadcrumb. So where is the title for their shampoos and everything? There is no title, but there is a H1 on this page. There is in fact a H1 and it's the holiday sale text here. And what I've noticed is that they've put this banner on every page across their store, on, on every collection. So if we go on perfume, you'll see holiday sale. That's the H1 on their perfume collection as well. So literally what Google is seeing is that they just have a bunch of collections, all titled holiday sale. They just have like 20 holiday sale collections and that's it. And they're all the same. And they're not really seeing that this is the perfume page, right? This is the perfume collection. There's nothing that says that. So that's the problem. And why is this happening so much? I'll show you on Horizon theme first, why this could happen on Horizon. So here we are on uh, one of my collection pages, Shopify 2.0 sections. And as you can see, I'm using the image banner or actually it's called media with text and it's got a heading and text. And inside this heading, you will notice that there's a drop down here and it lets you assign which HTML tag we're using for this text. And by default, it's paragraph. So I can simply write Shopify 2.0 sections in here and it'll look like a heading, but that's only because of the typography setting here. The font size, whether it's bold or not, and so on. So you're setting the look of it here, but the actual HTML, you need to set that right here. That's what will make it a H1. And if we inspect, you can see that's a H1. If I make that a paragraph, the look won't change, but it'll be a paragraph. So I was actually making the same mistake and uh, I only noticed this thanks to the fact that I was testing an app called uh, SEO Ant. This is just a small shout out, not sponsored or anything, but I did sort of a SEO audit and it was able to show me that um, my H1 was missing on several pages. Now it's just on, on one page that I don't care about. Oh yeah, it's the contact page, uh, that's fine. But yeah, the H1 was missing on all of my collection pages because I forgot about this. So if you're someone who's using Horizon or any of those Horizon era themes, 
then definitely go through all of your pages and check that you're actually using the headings properly on your collection pages, but also across other pages. And I'll just show you another example with Dawn. Dawn is not so bad. Um, if you're just using the default collection banner as the top of the page, then everything should be right. If we inspect that, that's going to show that's a H1, okay, collection hero title. Um, so that's all right. But what many stores do is they actually hide this default collection banner and they might be using like a image with text or something like that or a slideshow uh, as the like the replacement of the banner like so to get this this same sort of look right you would use the image with text section on dawn but that's not going to be a h1 that's actually going to be a h2 so that's not as bad as uh, what i showed you with horizon where you're just using a paragraph but still it's a bit of a problem and ideally if you're using the image with text section in this way then you might have a developer add a, a, an extra setting for you that lets you select the the heading size the heading level right so that you can make this a h1 because currently you can just change the size that's just visual uh, that's not actually changing h1 or h2 so on so I hope this helps. If you noticed that your store is making the same mistake, then please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.